Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Dow Academy Online Learning. We look forward to seeing you all back in class. But for now, stay home, stay safe. And remember to always wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Let's begin. Good morning, boys and girls, and good morning, parents. I'm Mrs. Sangende, the teacher for Standard 4C. I hope Boys and girls, you are enjoying your holidays. I want to pass this information that stay home so that you remain safe. We want to see you back in school. We have missed you. We have missed your beautiful faces and beautiful smiles. Please take care of yourselves. We want to see you back at school. Right. I'm going to take you into a maths lesson. Now, before I take you into today's maths lesson, I want us to recap on what we did last term before closing. Now, before closing, we were looking on the fractions of shaded and unshaded. And we were doing like this. For example, if you are given a circle like this, and from this circle, there are three sh shapes, there are three Parts. And one of the parts is shaded, and two parts are not shaded. And then they ask you that, write the fraction of the shaded and unshaded. So if we go back to the circle, we are going to see that only one part is shaded. So we are going to write it as... We are going to write it as 1 over 3 is shaded. And then when they ask us to write the unshaded parts, we are going to write it as 2 over 3 is unshaded. Now, the number on top is representing the part which is shaded or the part which is not shaded. And then the number at the bottom is representing all the parts, all the parts in the shape given. Right. Now, this is the lesson where we ended last term. We were just recapping on what we did last term. So I'm going to take you into another lesson, which is the lesson of the day. Thank you. Stay blessed. Right. So we ended on the shaded and unshaded of fractions. So today I want us to look on the addition of fractions. Our today's lesson, we are looking on the addition of fractions. Now, when we are adding fractions, a fraction is a part of a whole. So it is made up of two numbers. The other number is on top of the number. And then in between, there's a line and there's another number at the bottom. That is a fraction. Right. So if you are given a fraction, like for example, like number one, it's saying 3 over 8 plus 2 over 8 is equal to 5 over 8. So this is a fraction, that is a fraction, and that is a fraction. Now, on these fractions, like I said, that a fraction is made up of two numbers. The top number, we call it as a numerator. And then the bottom number is called as a denominator. Now, the second example is saying 5 over 8 plus 3 over 8 is equal to 8 over 8. Of course, this is a fraction and the answer is correct, but we can't leave it like that. It's not complete. This 8 at the bottom can go into the 8 on the, uh, on the top without leaving any remainder. So if we say 8 into 8, the answer will be 1 as a whole. Right. So 1 as a whole, that is the final answer. And then example number 3 is saying 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 is equal to 12 over 8. Still this one, we can't leave it like that. Why? Because the top number is bigger than the small number. So we are going to say, 
How many times can 8 go into 12? 8 can go into 12 one time. And there are some numbers that remained from 12 after 8 entered into 12. Remember the division that we were doing? We were counting sticks and then we circle the numbers that we were looking for. So here we can count 12 sticks and then we circle 8 sticks. From the 12 sticks we are going to have one circle which is one hole. And then outside the circle we are going to have four sticks, loose sticks, which are not in the circle, which is a remainder. So the remaining sticks, the number of remaining sticks, we are going to write it on top. And then the denominator is going to remain the same. So when adding fractions, you only add the top numbers. You only add the top numbers. The denominator, which is the bottom number, remained, remains the same. It is not changed. Right. Now, I said 12 over 8. We can't leave it like that because the bigger number is on top and the smaller number is down. So when you see a fraction with a bigger number on top and a smaller number down, it means that fraction is an improper fraction. So you can't leave the answer in an improper fraction. You have to divide it in order to write it in a simplest form. Right. And then the second one, we said the answer, number one, we said the answer was 5 over 8. Now, 5 over 8 is a proper fraction. Why? Because the small number is on top and the bigger number is down. And if we say 8 into 5 is going to give us a 0 and it's going to give us decimals like that at your stage we can't do that and then 1 and a fraction this one is called a mixed fraction why because there's this one which is a whole number and there's that fraction so a whole number plus a fraction we call it as a mixed number Right, I've come to the end of the lesson. I'm going to give you an exercise that you are going to do in your books. And remember to wash your hands, to stay home, and remain safe. Stay blessed.